The key of David is the fear of Yahweh. If you come into the house of Yahweh without the key of David, you are a robber. Examine yourself because you need to have the key of David. The key of David is the fear of Yahweh. Leviticus chapter 25 verse 36 Take thou no usury of him or increase, but fear thy Elohim, that thy brother may live with thee. Leviticus chapter 25 verse 43 Thou shalt not rule over him with rigor, but shalt fear thy Elohim. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 25 This day will I begin to put the dread of thee and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the whole heaven, who shall hear report of thee and shall tremble and be in anguish because of thee. Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 22 Ye shall not fear them, for Yahweh your Elohim he shall fight for you. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 10. Especially the day that thou stoodest before Yahweh thy Elohim in Horeb, when Yahweh said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth and that they may teach their children. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 29 Oh, that there were such an heart in them, that they would fear me, and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them, and with their children forever. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 2 that thou mightest fear Yahweh thy Elohim, to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy son and thy son's son, all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 13. Thou shalt fear Yahweh thy Elohim, and serve him, and shalt swear by his name. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 24 And Yahweh commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear Yahweh our Elohim, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is at this day. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 21 Thou shalt not be affrighted at them, for Yahweh thy Elohim is among you, a mighty Elohim and terrible. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 6 Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of Yahweh thy Elohim, to walk in his ways and to fear him. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12 And now, Israel, what doth Yahweh thy Elohim require of thee, but to fear Yahweh thy Elohim, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve Yahweh thy Elohim with all thy heart and with all thy soul. I am going to go and sound the chauffeur ram's horn now.